Hello there, I'm Lance Goyke, and today we're going to talk about the low handle prowler push. Now I like sled pushing for all sorts of reasons. It's a great way to load the lower body, it's a great way to challenge the core, it's a great way to also incorporate the upper body in your lower body exercises. But I really like the low handle when I need to teach someone how to load and unload a hip. So the, the nature of the low handle is that you need more mobility to actually drive through the movement. And you'll see when I show you here, but you need to flex the hip, the knee, the ankle, a lot more, or dorsal flex the ankle, and you need to push harder. You need to extend the hip, knee, and ankle, plantar flex the ankle. So what I'll like to do is use this with an athlete who I'm trying to teach to use their newfound hip extension mobility or whatever I may have given them and use that to drive through an opponent or into the air for a vertical jump or any sort of uh, sporting movement. It looks just like this. So you're going to put your hands right here. I like to teach people to start with their feet even, kind of squat down a little bit and then push. Okay, so I have to take steps where my hip is really flexed just like this and then I'm going to switch sides. Now I'm running out of room here. I'll show you just a couple steps in a row, but what I like about the sled is it's easy to tweak, right? So I can use this as a way to teach you to move more quickly. I can put light loads on there and tell you to run with it. It's great for conditioning because it's thoroughly exhausting. Um, what I like to do if, if I'm teaching an athlete like we were just describing, right? I'm teaching them to produce force again. I usually like to start them with just a simple walk, okay? So very deliberate steps, be conscious of your mobility and drive forcefully through the ground. Now the low handle prowler walk is also really good for frontal plane control of my hips, like being able to balance them from side to side. Okay, kind of like salsa dancing. This is because I have to step with one foot at a time. Okay, it's like I'm alternating from side to side. as simple as that. So if you have one of these sleds available to you, I highly recommend giving this a shot. 